myself uh, mr metgar sm working as assistant professor in computer science and engineering department at uh, walton institute of technology solapur now i welcome to the session on connection establishment and half close termination of tcp straight transition diagram learning outcome at the end of this session students should be able to describe the concept of connection establishment and half close termination of tcp content uh, about recent, uh, connection establishment and uh, half close uh, termination client states transition diagram for connection establishment and half close termination about uh, as in the previous video we have discussed about what is a state transition diagram and what are the different states are there and uh, how we have to transfer the data from one user to the another user and uh, what is the lifetime of that and then how we have to open the connection and the connection establishment how we have to transfer the data and then if any one user don't want to communicate with each other then what state we have to follow that and uh, previous video we have discussed now we'll remaining part of this one uh, that uh, video we will discuss in this video uh, now we'll discuss about the connection establishment and half close termination to understand the transmission control protocol state uh, state machines and the transition diagram we go through the some scenarios in the previous session how we have to and then uh, connection establishment and half close termination connection establishment before going to start or tra uh, transfer the data the you both the client as well as server how to open the connection uh, connection then after that only it is possible to go for the data transmission so so we have shown the we are uh, scenarios where the server process issues a passive open and uh, passive closes and uh, client process issues and active open and active closes okay so next the half close termination allow us to show more states the two states transition diagram for the client and server so in the uh, first diagram we have discussed the overall diagram of the state transition diagram so in this one only client states as well as server states we have dis we will discuss separately first i said in the previous video both client side as well as server side uh, users are both client and server are there initially are there in the closed state then they can start the first bit so now we can uh, study about the client states here this is a client state is there uh, and this one is a server side states are there now we can go for the uh, we have to start from the uh, client state initially the client is there in the closed state he can open the active open and then uh, by using active open uh, he can send the synchronization to the user and then after sending the synchronization then the connection established they can open the connection established so here this can indicates a synchronization plus acknowledgement and acknowledgement of the whatever the request is sent by the client so after opening the connection so they can go for the close the connection as well as terminate the connection so in the fin wait one fin wait two that is time wait it can the final termination of wait one the connection is not at uh, uh, close so the the user how to open so after that after wait, uh, user how to wait after waiting one then they can send the acknowledgement to the next user uh, again the client is waiting so the same waiting re uh, request will send it to the next user that is fin slash ck and then time wait then if the time is there the user can send the data if the time is over again automatically the time is out so it will be connection will be get closed so here we are using active open slash syn syn plus ack slash ack indi slash indicates the as in the first diagram only we have discussed slash indicates that uh, output and this active open it can indicates the input okay and this is about the client states now we can go for the server state in the server state how the server can open the uh, here this side the server can open the passive open and then after opening the passive they can initially the server is there in the listen mode after listening what type of request is sent by the client after listening he can go for the next bit uh, synchronization received from the client after listening the syn slash yes, synchronization plus acknowledgement they can send it to the next synchronization received then after whatever the synchronization received the acknowledgement will send it to the connection establishment phase in the receiver side here both client and server have opened the connection or established the connection so then they can go for the communication or data transfer page so now after opening the connection or established the connection they can send the fine uh, fin or acknowledgement 
to the close weight then after close weight they can send the that same uh, acknowledgement that close and fin to the last acknowledgement if the time is there then they can go for the uh, data transfer then the time is over then then they can go lost the acknowledgement then automatically the connection will be get closed in the server side also these are the two different states of client as well as server because in the previous video uh, i mean in the first video we have discussed the brief about this one now here clearly they have given about the client states as well as server states separately in the main diagram a uh, dark line indicates that the client and then dotted line indicates the server but here both it is there clearly okay now the timeline diagram for the above client and server states so here the client process is there then the transport layer here is also server process is there transport layer is there the client can open the active open they can send the request that is synchronization to the transport layer in the transport layer they can synchronization received as well as waiting time is there they can send the synchronization plus uh, acknowledgement whatever the request is there based on this synchronization they can send both the uh, synchronization as well as ack to the client side the client again send the acknowledgement to the server here in this state the connection establishment is over then after connection establishment they can go for the data transfer in this one both client and server they can use the data transfer pages after transmitting the data again they can open the uh, active open because this is active open is related to the connection establishment this is a active open it is related to the data transfer okay here they can start sending the data and receiving the data after transmitting the data they can again they can send the uh, termination a request to the server the server can send the acknowledgement after that any one user is disconnected data transfer and here is also acknowledgement is also transmitted then both the users are disconnected automatically fin wait one that is final termination wait one for termination wait two as well as close wait will be get closed then acknowledgement of that will be send it to the server client the client is also time wait will be send it to the acknowledgement to the server both the user side that is client side as well as server side they can open the they can close the connection but in the client side we have opened the connection in the server side at the same time we have to use the passive open for connection establishment data transfer as well as connection termination also as in the previous video we have seen the active open can be used in the client side and passive open can be used in the server side okay this is a uh, timeline diagram timeline diagram for connection establishment and half close termination okay these are the different client states are there as we have discussed in the first diagram that is a synchronization set uh, sent what it indicates that client process issues a command into a tcp to request a connection to a specific socket address this is called the active open tcp sends synchronization segment and moves to the synchronization send date so connection established state so after receiving the synchronization plus acknowledgement segment tcp sends the acknowledgement segment and goes to the connection established state then fin wait one data are transferred possibly in both the directions and acknowledged when the client process has no more data to send it issues a command and called an active open or active closes the client tcp sends a fin segment and goes to the fin wait one state okay fin wait two can indicate it will be receives the acknowledgement for the sent fin goes to the final wait two uh, state and remains there uh, there and, uh, until it receives final segment or fin segment from the server okay uh, fine uh, time wait state when the fin segment is received the client sends an acknowledgement uh, and goes to the time wait uh, time wait state and sets a timer for time out value for twice that is maximum segment lifetime to our msl we have to use tcp segment is encapsulated in an ip datagram which has a limited lifetime that is ttl we have to use okay when the ip datagram is dropped the encapsulated tcp segment is also dropped the common values for msl is between 30 seconds and 1 minute in between 30 seconds to 1 minute there are two reasons for the existing for the time wait and state to sml timer that is now it is a think and write or to breaking the continue connection that is think and write uh, first uh, there are two one question is there in tcp uh, fin plus ack segment consumes dash sequence of numbers uh, dash if it does not carry data there are two options are there four options are there 2 3 1 and no now pause the video and answer the 
question now let us see the output uh, answer for this question first it is in tcp of fin plus ck segment consumes dash sequence numbers it means if it does not carry data that is one sec uh, sequence number it will be carry okay next client state continued there are two reasons for the existence of the time weight state in 2 sml timer first one is reason one that is if the last ACK segment is lost then the server TCP which sets a timer for the lost FIN and uh, assumes that its FIN is lost and resends the data. Okay, if the client goes to the closed uh, closed state and closes the connection before 2 MSL time uh, expires, okay, it never receives this uh, recent FIN segment and uh, sec uh, consequentially the server never receives the final ACK. The server cannot close the connection, the two MSL that is maximum segment lifetime uh, times makes the client wait for a duration that is enough time for an acknowledgement to be lost. Okay. If, the dur uh, if during the time wait state, the new FIN arrives, the client sends new ACK and restart the two SML timer. Okay. Second reason is that duplicate segment from one connection might appear in the next one assume that client and server have closed the connection so after a short period of time they open a connection with the same socket address okay to prevent this prob uh, problem the tcp requires that an uh, incorporation or incorporation cannot occur unless two msl amount of time has elapsed okay some implementation however ignore this rule if the initial sequence number of the incarnation is greater than the loss sequence number used in the previous connection. This is a reference. Thank you.